name is Victoria Pavlov. I am the Photoshop artist. Welcome to my studio. How are you this morning? It's Wednesday already. Yes, Wednesday. Guys, today we will do something differently. Today we will talk about um, how you can start fun uh, painting in Adobe Fresco from scratch if you never painted before. Uh, so bring all your family with you take your um, sketch pad, open your uh, Photoshop, open your uh, Adobe Fresco and let's create. Again guys, this stream is for everyone. I I received a lot of um, comments from you guys. You asked me to show if you are a traditional painter or never painted before, how you can start creating um, in uh, creating digitally. And specifically, you asked about Adobe Fresco. And I asked my friend Renee what her grandchild would love to learn. And um, Tiffany uh, told her that she would love to learn um, how to draw a panda. And she asked me again to show to her how she can uh, paint panda in Adobe Fresco. So guys, let's start. First of all, guys, um, I will post right now on my stream, um, on my chat, that you can download a sketch for um, uh, this um, stream. Let just a second, guys. I will open all my windows. I don't want to miss any of your beautiful comments. I love your comments. You know that. Don't hesitate, guys. Let's start conversation. Okay, everything is ready to go. Uh, let me bring uh, my uh, Patreon. And I will switch camera just in a second. Okay, let's do it. So, guys, this is my Patreon with a Panda Sketch we will be working on. Just go to um, URL I provided you with. Click on this uh, link and you will be able to download this uh, sketch. And you can start working on your fun painting right away. Now, let me close this window. As you can see, I have opened Adobe Fresco. I have opened Adobe Fresco and I didn't create any document yet. Let me move my uh, gear to make more room just like this. Perfect. Now, if you never opened Fresco before, uh, you definitely will um, start thinking about how you can create your new document, uh, what size you need uh, in your uh, document and everything like that. To make everything easier, guys, I will show to you digital and traditional uh, method side by side. Side. This is a traditional uh, watercolor album. Uh, do you see the size of it? And this is another uh, traditional uh, sketchbook different sizes bigger smaller same in uh, fresco if i would like to create something uh, in bigger size i will create my document in bigger size if i would like to create something in smaller size i will create my document in smaller size um, you can click on custom size and you will be able to uh, um, create your document in your a uh, custom size. It's up to you. So you can um, enter all uh, parameters, uh, click on create document and voila. I will click on uh, ready to go preset, this one, and a look at this. Uh, Fresco creates uh, my... Yes, Martin, you can catch a reply, a replay uh, right after I will finish my stream. So this is my uh, document I just created with you guys. You can uh, pinch it and move anywhere you like. Same as you can move your sketchbook anywhere you like on your table or desk. So everything same. And we have a layers. If you will look at the uh, right um, 
side of my screen, you can see that we have layers. We can create as many layers as we can, as we want. Simply click on plus icon and voila, Fresco will create a, a new a layer for you. Layers layers are basically our pages. Look at this. I will open my page. If I would like to create, uh, open another page, I will flip my pages just like that. Same in uh, Fresco. We can create, we can add a layer or we can delete layer. Simply click on three uh, dots and uh, click delete a layer. Just like that. What about our brushes? Look at the left side of my screen. We have um, uh, three uh, icons. If we will click on any of them, we will expand our brushes library. Now I am located in a pixel uh, brushes. Um, here, guys, we have different type of uh, brushes. Basic, comic, dry media, FX, ink, lettering, uh, marker, painting. Everything is organized by folders. What? Let's talk about folders. Folders are same as our, um, I don't know, uh, cup I'm keeping my brushes in just like this. Same. We have different brushes and different brushes organized by different um, cups, folders. Let me expand my uh, basic um, folder. I expanded my basic folder, um, brushes folder, and here we have a lot of different brushes. Same, guys, same. Again, I'm showing to you on a traditional example. Um, same, if I will open my, uh, let me open, let me open. If I will open my um, uh, pencils, you can see that, oops, I have, uh, I'm sorry, guys, I have different pencils. Let me flip like that. Different pencils organized in same uh, box. Same here. We have different brushes organized by folders and subfolders. And my basic folder uh, has a lot of uh, very helpful brushes we can start um, uh, working with. If I will switch to another uh, set of brushes, light brushes. Here, guys, we have uh, one of my uh, favorite watercolor brushes. I will click on watercolor uh, folder and I will expand this folder. And here I have set of watercolor brushes. Again, watercolor brushes we have um, in watercolor um, folder different, different watercolor brushes like here. My watercolor brushes, different type of them, different shapes and everything like that. Same in here. If you notice, guys, I have some of them with um, a blue star next to it. Blue star uh, means that I favorited this brush. This brush is my favorite for easier access later on. If I will click on my favorites, you can see here I have my all favorite uh, brushes. It's easier. Same again. Guys, again, I have a lot of watercolor brushes, but particularly in this cup, I have my favorite of watercolor brushes. Uh, if I would like to start my um, watercolor painting, uh, I will know exactly where all my favorite brushes are. Same here, favorites folder, all my favorite brushes. Next set of brushes, it's our um, vector brushes. Using a free hand, uh, you can create a vector art. Yes, guys, a vector uh, art, exactly like an illustrator. So you, if you never worked with a uh, vector brushes, guys, just start creating your art right now because here you don't have a um, um, curative tool, you don't have a um, pen tool. We all are scared of pen tool. So we can create same art without pen tool using um, this beautiful vector <clears throat> brushes. So guys, this is all about brushes and organization. Everything is easy, right guys? If you have any questions, just ask. Again, let me switch. I think I missed. Uh... Hi, hi, Rene. Hi, Salman. No, I cannot give you software, but you can go to um, your mobile store and download Adobe Fresco right away. 
So this is all about um, organization. I compared a traditional and digital painting. If you never worked with digital painting, but we all work with traditional painting in school. So um, now you know it's exactly same. Nothing to be scared about. Let's talk about sketch I provided you with. I have same sketch located on my um, iPad. Um, on my iPad, I will click on this. Um, <clears throat> Uh, image uh, icon. I will click on photos. I will click on all photos and here guys I have same uh, sketch. Same. I click uh, on it. A uh, fresco opened it. I will click done and voila. Now I have three layers. Two layers were default layers and top layer is my um, uh, panda layer. What I will do guys I will uh, bring opacity of this layer down. I will click on this um, icon and I will layer properties icon and I will bring opacity down just like that. Perfect. And now guys, let's rock and roll. I have created a new empty layer. I don't have to because Fresco will create a new layer for you. When you will pick any brush, uh, Fresco will analyze what brush you use and based on it, um, Fresco will create a vector or a raster layer. How awesome is it? Now, let's continue uh, comparing traditional and digital painting. Now, I need to outline my sketch. Um, in traditional painting, we will use a simple uh, pencil and eraser. Same in uh, fresco. You have a few choices. First choice, a mine choice, um, personally, is a vector brush. I will click on any vector brush or you can click on raster brushes. Uh, family, click on sketching and click on pencil. And voila, you will be ready to outline your sketch. Now, let's talk about entire family. Some of our members of our family never um, had any painting experience before. And I will show to you how you can create this beautiful panda without any painting experience. Okay, I will switch to a vector brush. I will bring um, my color wheel and I will attach my color wheel next to my uh, tools. Guys, a color wheel same as my uh, or yours um, paint. It's a watercolor paint set. Same. Here we have set of all colors. We can mix them. We can blend them. We can do whatever we want with them. Same as in traditional painting. So I will click on this um, light uh, shade of gray color. Also, I can uh, increase size of my brush just like that. And I will start outlining my panda. The easiest way to create your panda is just create basic shapes. I will create this ellipse just like that. I will create three other ellipse just like that. Another ellipse just like this and the last one around here. Just like this. Now guys, what I will do, I will divide my main um, uh, circle for two parts. Just one and two. Now I have one, two, three, Four, four parts. In the middle, our left part, I will create another uh, circle for panda's eyes. Same on the right side. Just like that. Time to uh, bring everything together. I will create a new empty layer. I will bring size of my brush. Um, I will change color of my brush to darker um, gray color. And um, yes, I will be using um, basic type brush, my favorite vector brush in Adobe Fresco. If I will need, guys, I always can change size of my brush at any time. 
everything again is up to you and now i will uh bring all shapes together i will start with um one second guys i will open my another comment window just like that yes i will start with panda ears one two one two now we will we will connect two ears together just like this and now um we will start outlining panda's face one two and a little bit chin for panda three look at this if i will um hide my sketch layer you will see that we have um basic outline of our uh, panda's face now let's talk about panda's uh, hands very cute hands what i will do i will use same principle to connect uh, my uh, hand shape to uh, panda's face just like this and same with panda's back and voila now let's talk about eyes guys eyes are a basic shapes uh, particularly with a uh, panda it's very easy so don't pay attention to all technical stuff today because today we all about how we can start our painting journey from scratch in adobe fresco when even if you never painted before if you never painted anything digitally before and even traditionally so now let's talk about panda's eye we have two um circles our panda's eyes and i will start outlining it you can create panda eyes in any shape you like guys again don't pay attention to all um technical uh stuff it's all about creativity today and just like this look at this now let's talk about panda nose panda nose is same you can see outline under uh, our top layer i just will go over it yes renee it's super easy just uh, create shapes and connect all shapes together and this will be our panda's nose just like that and a very smiley mouse just like that now guys let me hide our sketch layers we don't need them anymore look at this this is our panda and again guys don't pay attention to all technique technical stuff just enjoy enjoy your creation uh bring your imagination um to life now let's talk about pandas uh fingers <laughs> nails cloth so what i will do using same brush i will bring size of my brush down and i will add a few brush strokes just like that how cute this panda is just like this and look at this cutie i love pandas thank you thank you tiffany i love you so now let's add um three to our panda and a few leaves good 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 now we can start out uh, bring uh, all um, colors to life before that let's add a few details to our um, image guys this part is not uh, mandatory <laughs> it's up to you uh, you can add less or more detail um, to your painting it's up to you what i would like to add i would like to add a few details to panda's ears just like this and maybe to panda's nose and a little bit details on her cheeks oh and eyebrows guys we forgot about panda's eyebrows look at this 
Okay, this is our sketch. Same sketch, guys. Let me show to you. Same sketch like in traditional painting. Look at this. This is my sketch. And after I finish my sketch, I will start working with my watercolor um, paints. Today we will use combination of watercolor brushes, markers and everything like that. First we will start with watercolor brushes. I will click on second um, set of brushes, long press. I will click on watercolor um, brushes family and I will click on watercolor wash soft. This is our watercolor brushes again let's compare to our um traditional watercolor painting this is my brush we just picked and now time to choose our colors same colors guys look same colors i will click on um uh color wheel and i will use a um, lighter shade of gray color here guys we have a water flow option we can um use a we can enter watercolor flow value between 100 and 0 0 or 100 it's up to you uh it's your preferences if you will ask me what i uh, prefer i have no answer for that different uh painting different value thank you thank you rob super appreciated so and guys here we have a brush setting you can adjust your brush setting in a way you like you can create uh, your brush um you can use using same brush default brush you can um modify this brush and create different style of brushes example like um we i have um different types of uh, brushes let me show to you again different types of brushes guys this is traditional uh, brushes we are working with digital brushes same <laughs> thank you Terry. same here we can customize our brushes to create a different shape of brush depends of our project now i will bring flow down to 30 not more than 30 percent I will bring size of my brush down to 255. It's up to you guys. And I will start applying first layer of uh, our man many, many colors we will be working with today. If you think that uh, you need to increase or decrease size of your brush, you can do it at any time. Like in traditional paint, uh, you can switch between different uh, sizes of, you can um, choose different a uh, brush with different uh, size at any time, like I'm doing right now. I'm periodically switching between a uh, bigger and smaller size of uh, my uh, brush. And again today, guys, let's don't talk about all technical stuff today. Purpose of today's stream is bring you into digital painting because digital painting, it's a lot of fun. It's unlimited uh, possibilities. You can create anything you like. Now, what I will do now, guys, I will... Um, Increase flow uh, value of my brush to 76 and I will add a few splashes of a darker um, shade uh, of gray color to my art, just like that. And again, guys, when you use traditional method of painting, when you use a traditional pencil, you, uh, you are using your uh, hand... Uh, pressure sensitivity to control how um hard how um to control your brush stroke same in here i am using apple pencil apple pencil has great uh, pressure sensitivity and depend on how hard or um light i will press my um pen i can control um uh, opacity of my brush stroke now i will switch to white color and i will add a few splashes of white color and to do so i will increase um uh flow of my brush to 100 percent and i will add a few splashes of white color white color is basically is um 
you uh, white uh, color in uh, watercolor painting it's like water we can add a few splashes of water um, because personally i love uh effect of uh watery effect in my um watercolor painting same here just a few splashes of water just like that and now guys because we are working with digital painting we can restock our layers i will click on my top layer our um colored layer and i will restock it under my uh sketch layer just like that now i will create a new empty layer i will use almost black color as a painter I prefer don't use a black co a color for a shading or for um, darkest parts in my image. If I'm working with shadows, a shading, I prefer to use a dark blue color. It's a much or violent color, uh, just like this. Look at this. It's almost black, but it's not black. Using um, not black color for shading, for shadows, we bring more um, uh, air in our painting. And I love it so i use darker shade of any color you like i prefer cold colors and i will add a few splashes of uh, color around panda's ears just like that did you notice guys fresco blends all colors together i don't need to do anything and same in here you can increase size of your brush at any time or you can bring size of your brush down at any time just like that guys look at this and again guys don't forget about pressure sensitivity it's super important and voila look at this beautiful panda now what I will do, I will bring size of my brush down just like that. I will create a new empty layer. I will bring opacity of my layer down about 41. And I will add a little bit of details um, around my panda's mouse just like that. Again, guys, you can switch between um, different sizes of your brush at any time just like this. And now I can bring down opacity of my layer more or less it's up to you just like that let's talk about panda's eyes to start working before i will start working on my panda's eyes i will create a new empty layer it's not necessary guys but but i love layers and if you never painted before using layers you you, you will have full control over your uh, painting you can delete or modify um, your uh, layer at any time so you have separate layers for each um part of your painting for each color it will help you to keep full control over your painting and this is important if you never painted before so what i will do i will switch again to darker a uh, shade of any color almost black but it's not black and i will add a little bit of details around here just like this and around here look at this and using same brush with smaller side i will add a little bit more details around panda's nose great now guys we have uh, outlined panda's eyes and panda's nose again you can leave um white spots in your painting because if you uh worked with traditional painting you know that all watercolor paintings uh colors are uh bleeding and i love this style but again it's up to you if you would like to have full control over colors if you would like to have um more details in your uh, watercolor painting simply switch your uh, brush to um, uh, watercolor round detail bring size of your brush down and you will add more detail to your painting i will switch color of my brush to black i will create a new empty layer and i will add a few details around panda nose just like that and eyes 
and uh, maybe around here again you can uh, switch between a uh, bigger and smaller size of your brush at any time also you can increase or decrease a value flow value at any time just like this and maybe around his uh, nails now guys what we can add to panda painting oh look guys i forgot about pandas eyebrows i will highlight pandas um, eyes and nose layer i will switch back to my dark darkest color i used in this painting and as you noticed fresco remembers all colors we use in current document and using this brush i will add a few details to pandas eyebrows so look at this how cute is he now let's talk about different brushes you don't have to start and finish uh, working on your project using one uh, type of brush. We started with uh, vector brushes, we switched to watercolor brushes, and now guys, we will switch to something else. We will switch to marker brushes. I will click on marker brush, just like that. I will add this brush to my favorites, just like that. And I will use white color for my marker i will bring size of my brush down and i will add a few splashes of um fur to pandas ears just like this around his cheeks if you want you can uh, highlight your top layer your um vector uh, layer create a new empty layer and you can add more details to your painting look at this how cute is he to create a fur use a smaller brush of your size and again guys uh you can add less or more details to your art everything is up to you no rules in here i can zoom in my document increase size of my brush and i will add a few details to panda's eye one second and highlights very important just like that look at our panda guys now let's add some color to our leaves to do so yes i will create a new empty layer I will switch to another brush. I will switch on a basic um, soft round brush. It's like, uh, let me show it to you. It's like this brush, soft, very nice. I will switch color of my brush to green, just like that, darker shade of green. I will zoom in my document for better preview. Brush is too big. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few splashes to, uh, of green color with smaller size of my brush. Just like that. And again, guys, you can add less or more details. Everything is up to you. To add more details to my leaves, I will switch to white color. I will bring size of my brush down and I will add a few details around here just like that now guys uh if you will if you would like to add some background thank you Rene. to add some um background highlight your um original sketch a layer i provided you with even if this layer uh if the layer um if uh layer is not visible highlight it create a new empty layer I will switch back to watercolor brush, watercolor wet spatter. I will change color of my br brush to blue, bright blue. I will increase size of my brush and I will add a few spatters to my background. Just like that. If you would like to add something extra, again, highlight your sketch layer, create a new layer switch to watercolor a soft wash brush use a bright blue color and look at this 
you have your sky. If you would like to add more of watery effect, you can do it as well. Simply switch color of your brush to uh, white, create a new empty layer, bring opacity of your layer down and add a few very beautiful um, clouds to your image just like that so guys now you can um save this uh, uh painting on uh, on your local drive you can export it in any way you like and as usual guys yes you know me i would like to show to you one of my favorite uh, features in fresco i will click on publish and export here a uh, time lapse export click on it and yes guys fresco recorded everything for you you can share this time lapse with your followers with your family with um, grandchildren with uh, grandparents with uh, children that's amazing guys i love 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 it so this is our painting and this is what i wanted to share with you today basically guys in here in our um on our ipad inside our adobe fresco application we have all traditional tools we have our um, brushes we have our um paint we have eraser we have our um sketch uh, sketchbooks or our uh, papers we have everything what we use in traditional painting inside adobe fresco yes guys everything in one application yes renee i hope you will share with me what she thinks about it and this is super easy oh 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 i forgot guys i forgot about our tree um so we have panda and now i would like to add a few color uh a few colors to our tree what i will do i will highlight my a uh, sky layer i will create a new empty layer above it i will switch to um, darker brown color guys you can use any color you you like bright or light it's up to you i will bring size of my brush down and i will add color to our tree just like this and voila we are officially done so guys this is what i wanted to share with you today thank you so much for being with me renee tiffany thank you so much for your advice for your uh, topic for your uh, panda uh, suggestions thank you thank you thank you uh thank you so much guys i appreciate all your support um i hope you are safe you are washing your hands stay home uh, create something beautiful create art traditionally or digitally or using your camera phone camera or uh, professional cameras it uh, doesn't matter just create art and i will see you tomorrow and tomorrow we will talk about my uh, uh, settings with a uh, wacom cintiq i will i will talk about wacom, wacom cintiq and two different um vacuum tablets you ask me uh, about uh, my setting and tomorrow we will talk about about it so guys thank you so much for being with me very appreciate it and i will see you tomorrow and if you have any question do not forget just ask and <laughs> if you will create anything if you will create your panda if you will create uh, members of your family uh, will create your children will create grandchildren will create nephews um nieces just shared it with, uh, share it with me i really 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 want to see your pandas guys thank you so much and i will see you tomorrow bye guys ah.